And just remember your first form, change the bomb. So a lot of the time you're like that and you just change the bomb. Please don't think of Wing Chun as a different shape to an, an approach to karate. So if you're punching and you're blocking or blocking or blocking or blocking, Wing Chun doesn't do that. If he's punching forward, I've got to get my hand up. I don't want to get hit. And I've got two alternatives. Go, slip out of the way, fight back, or get my hand up somehow. I don't really go, want to go like that. Do you agree? Yes, no, couldn't care less. Look, if you start thinking like that, if you start thinking like that, then you're thinking about doing a complex movement okay, against a very simple movement, which doesn't make any sense. Wing Chun's supposed to be simple. Yep. It's not a universal yes, so I, I take it you don't agree. Right, someone's punching you. If that is universal, and that relies on my center line punch, bang, then that's basic Wing Chun. So where would the bomb come in, go? Well, no, of course not. Why would I do that when already we've agreed that is better? That's got my whole forearm from there to there to cover that shape. Can you see the idea? So how would I use my bomb? Well, I'll show you. Punch, bomb, bomb. You punch. There you go. There's your bomb. Like in the form, change your shape. Change your shape. So he's punching. Forward, change your shape. Use it to guide and control, which is why we spend so much time teaching Chi Sao skills. Chi Sao's not the fight. Chi Sao is the medium from which you transfer the form, movements and shapes from the forms into later a transition which goes into fighting. Can you see the idea? But Chi Sao's not the fight. Chi Sao is where you take your time to respect each other and feed each other movements and learn from and with each other. There's not one person who's good at Wing Chun on his own. He had to learn with somebody else, and he could learn with somebody else that's a lot less good than himself. Can you see? So the key is, when you show your, your tame, your manner, that you're respecting each other. And that's the first thing. So I'm saying, thank you for letting me use your body so I can practice my technique. Why would I abuse that trust he's just given me? Do you agree? Okay? So that's the first thing you do that. After a while, you really know each other well, you might want to do this kind of idea. Manners are just manners, but it's the same significance, isn't it? It's the significance, not actually what you do. Some people bow. You don't need to bow, you don't need to do anything like that. Any sort of mannerism that shows you have a mutual respect, can you see? When you're training in a class, obviously it's disciplined, it's this. Training at home privately with your friends, you can do anything you like, as long as that's there though. Okay. So he's punching forward and I'm going like this, and I've got press my arms. Then you've got your bong, you've got your feed, you've got your change, you've got these movements. Just like I showed you earlier, you needed that cover underneath. And you can see that it is necessary to start to do that. So if you want to see shapes developing, for instance, you, because the brain recognises shapes really, really quickly. So if you punch, go, anything at all. Just go, go, go. Look, can you see? So I'm really not doing anything at the moment. I'm just feeling shapes, letting Ashley come forward. If I show you how good it can be, I want you to keep continuing to attack. Go, 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 go. And I'm just getting clobbered. So what you don't see is the preemptive. Let's go. From here, I'm preempting his ability, preempting him. Can you see? So I'm just seeing the principle go. I'm there, I'm there, don't worry. I'm there, Ashley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. 